Madrid's regional premier, Isabel Ayuso, officially inaugurating Spain's first dedicated pandemic hospital. Costing over $100 million, the Isabel Zendel Hospital has room for 1,000 beds, 50 intensive care units, and what's more, construction started just four months ago. The aim is to ease the burden on Madrid's buckling healthcare system, allowing the region's other hospitals to deal with more non-COVID related cases. We want it to be a hospital for Spain, open to the rest of autonomous regions. This new hospital will be multifunctional, adapted to all the situations we might face. New COVID-19 cases will come here to release pressure from the rest of the hospitals, but also from catastrophic events and new pandemics. Now, while the hospital was inaugurated today, it still isn't officially open. There's still building work going on, and the authorities are also still struggling to find enough doctors, nurses and other medical staff to work here. There was no shortage of medical staff protesting against the hospital on Tuesday. People here angry that the $100 million wasn't used to support the existing healthcare system. Me parece un absoluto desatino. This hospital is totally wrong. It's crazy that they've spent not just the 50 million euros planned, but 100 million. We don't really need it. This hospital cost double than what was originally planned. This hospital is not needed at all, and even less with the current economic situation. This does increase the pressure on those currently on the front line. At the height of the pandemic, nearly a fifth of all coronavirus cases in Spain were healthcare workers. It may be time to redress the balance. Rahul Pathak, CGTN, Madrid.